Good morning, class. Today, we're going to explore the various uses of the auxiliary verb would in English. Would is a powerful word that can express different meanings in different contexts. Let's dive in. Firstly, would is often used to express the past conditional. It helps us talk about unreal or hypothetical situations in the past. For example, if I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. Now let's see an example of a daily life conversation that demonstrates the use of would in the context of expressing the past conditional. Hey, did you watch the football match last night? No, I missed it. What happened? Well, if you had seen it, you wouldn't believe what occurred in the final minutes. Really? Tell me what happened. Okay, so our team was losing by two goals, but in the last few minutes, they made an incredible comeback. If you had been there, you would have witnessed the most exciting game ever. Oh no, I wish I hadn't missed it. It sounds amazing. In this conversation, person A uses the past conditional form of would to discuss a hypothetical situation in the past. They imagine what person B's reaction would have been if they had watched the football match. Can anyone provide another example? If it had rained, we would have stayed at home. Excellent. That's a great example. Now, let's move on to the second use of would. Would is frequently employed to make polite requests or invitations. For instance, would you mind closing the window, please, or would you like to join me for lunch? Now let's see an example of a daily life conversation that demonstrates the use of would in the context of expressing a polite request or invitation. Hey, would you mind picking up some groceries on your way home? Sure, no problem. Is there anything specific you need? Yes, please grab a gallon of milk, a loaf of bread, and some eggs. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll make sure to get everything on the list. In this conversation, person A uses would to make a polite request, asking person B if they would mind picking up some groceries. Person B responds politely and offers their willingness to help. This example showcases the use of would to express a polite request in a daily life situation. Can anyone share another polite request using would? Would you please turn down the volume? Perfect. You've got it. Next, let's explore the third use. Would can also describe habitual or repeated actions in the past. This means actions that happened regularly in the past. For example, when I was young, I would always ride my bike to school. Let's see an example of a daily life conversation that demonstrates the use of would in the context of expressing habitual or repeated actions in the past. Used to live in the countryside when I was a child. Really? What was it like? It was peaceful and quiet. Every morning, I would wake up to the sound of birds singing. That sounds lovely. What else would you do during the day? Well, after breakfast, I would often go for long walks in the fields with my dog. We would explore the nearby woods and play by the river. That sounds like a lot of fun. Did you have any other regular activities? Yes, in the evenings, my family would gather around the fireplace, and we would tell stories or play board games. It was such a cozy and memorable time. In this conversation, person A describes their past experiences living in the countryside and uses would to talk about habitual or repeated actions that occurred regularly. They mention waking up to the sound of birds singing, going for walks with their dog, and engaging in evening activities with their family. Any other examples you can think of? Every Sunday, we would visit my grandparents. Great job. You're catching on quickly. Let's proceed to the fourth use of wood. Wood is often used to indicate preference or inclination. For instance, I would rather go to the cinema than stay at home. Let's see an example of a daily life conversation that demonstrates the use of wood in the context of indicating preference or inclination. What movie do you want to watch tonight? Hmm, I'm not sure. What are our options? Well, there's an action thriller playing at the theater, or we could stay in and watch a romantic comedy on Netflix. 
I'm not really in the mood for action. I would prefer watching a light-hearted romantic comedy. What do you think? That sounds good to me too. Let's stay in and enjoy the movie. In this conversation, person B uses would to indicate their preference or inclination. They express their desire to watch a romantic comedy instead of an action thriller. Can anyone provide another example of expressing preference using would? I would prefer pizza for dinner tonight. Excellent choice. You're doing great. Now, let's move on to the fifth use. Would is frequently used when reporting past statements or intentions. It helps us share what someone said or intended to do in the past. For example, she said she would call me later, or he promised he would help me with my project. Let's see an example of a daily life conversation that demonstrates the use of would in the context of reporting past statements or intentions. Guess what? I bumped into Sarah yesterday. Oh, really? What did she say? She said she would bring her famous chocolate cake to the party tonight. That's fantastic. I love her chocolate cake. I can't wait to try it. In this conversation, person A reports a past statement made by Sarah using wood. Sarah expressed her intention to bring her famous chocolate cake to the party. Person B reacts to the information and expresses excitement about trying the cake. Can you think of another example? My friend told me you would buy me a gift. Wood can be used to make polite suggestions or give advice. For instance, you would feel better if you took a break, or I think you would enjoy reading this book. Let's see an example of a short daily life conversation that demonstrates the use of wood in the context of making polite suggestions or giving advice. I've been feeling stressed out lately. I understand. Have you tried taking breaks during the day? Not really. I'm always caught up in work. Well. Maybe you should consider taking short breaks throughout the day. It would help you recharge and increase productivity. You're right. I should give it a try. Thanks for the suggestion. In this conversation, person B uses would to make a polite suggestion or give advice to person A. They propose the idea of taking breaks during the day as a way to manage stress and increase productivity. Any other examples you can think of? You would do well to listen to your parents' advice. Fantastic example. You've grasped the concept perfectly. That concludes our lesson on the uses of wood in English. I hope you now have a clearer understanding of this versatile word and how to use it in various contexts. Remember to practice using wood in your conversations and written work. Keep up the great work and see you in our next class. Thank, Thank you, you, teacher. teacher.